is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King John 84 and today people I will be reviewing the beta for Call of Duty World War 2 and by the way this is the negative side I will be telling you guys the positive side of Call of Duty on my next video so do not worry do not leave your dislike right now there's gonna be another opinion coming up in my next video and this is gonna be the good side so fanboys please back off there's gonna be another video so anyways First things first guys, let me tell you guys something. After playing the beta for like four days or five days, because I didn't play like every single day. I had to take a chill pill because, you know, I cannot keep my adrenaline going and, you know, my eyes hurt half of the time. So I cannot really play forever like I used to back in the day. And uh, after playing for four days, I can tell you guys something. It feels like a reskin of Call of Duty 4 Remastered for some odd reason. And some of the things that contribute to this has to be the headshots. It kind of feels abysmal for God's sakes. Every time I try to do a headshot, it feels like I'm shooting the body. And it's BS. Like I'm telling you, they're head glitching. They have their head out. I shoot them forever, four shots, four hit, hit markers and everything. And they still don't die. A fit shot. Boom, they die. Headshots, this is on the, on the side and everything. You'll see it a few times in this background gameplay that I have right now that I'm getting headshots and it doesn't happen. So I think it's either the game is a reskin of Call of Duty 4 Remaster. If you guys didn't play the Call of Duty 4 Remaster, there's no headshots in Call of Duty 4. So once the game you know drops prices, go check it out, go test it out, pick it up for 20 bucks, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It does not have headshots, so you're going to take a long time in killing people. And uh, what's another thing that I want to talk about? So it could be either the game trying to be a reskin of Call of Duty 4 or it could be the lag. The lag in this game, I kind of feel like I'm one second behind half of the time. Not all, not all the time, sometimes I'll be ahead by a half a second, but uh, most of the time I feel like I'm behind by a second. Which caused me to change my playing style to like from tactical over to rapid you know be fast again to my old school style and why is that because you know weapons are not doing headshots my weapons i don't know for some odd reason my attachments also feel like they're not working i have quick draw on all my weapons and they feel like they don't even work like what's going on here also with the rapid fire it doesn't even work the attachment it's supposed to be raising you know the rapid fire by two it doesn't even feel like it it feels like it's shooting the same thing so the attachments are a little bit faulty. The headshots are not working. The lag, it's sometimes unbearable and I'm behind by a second, which caused me to switch over to rapid fire weapons from assault rifles to rapid fire. So it kind of feel like super arcade-ish half the time because you know, you cannot get headshots half the time. And you have to take, you have to make more damage to get headshots. So that's an arcade game right there. It's not realistic. But yeah, people are crying about the swastika, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you guys should start crying about the game being actually real. Because this is ridiculous. How can I, I be shooting a guy in the face and not die? And you guys saw it also with Dr. Disrespect. I've been following that guy, and I'm telling you, Dr. Disrespect says a lot of the true things about behind the, you know, the Call of Duty franchise. And the guy is real. Like, Dr. Disrespect is pretty much of a cool guy, and he tells you the truth. So, I'm telling you, there's a few problems here and there about this game that really kind of makes me wonder what's going to happen on the next freaking game. Another problem is the perks. Where are they? Why are they all centered into infantry, like into like in divisions? I don't want that. I don't want my perks to be simplified because of a certain character or they're trying to turn into a hero based game. I don't want that. This is this is the Overwatch effect at this point. Overwatch caused many hero shooters and this is turning into one. It kind of sucks to be honest. I feel like I need more customization than just, oh, here's this whole pack of perks. Like, let me choose it by myself, man. I'm not a baby. So that's the negative side about this game, guys. Tell me what you think. You know, leave a like, dislike, I don't mind. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'll be posting more Call of Duty World War II video, guys. So leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Call of Duty World War II.